Welcome back to the channel. My name is Wayne and this is the It'll Do Homestead. Back in April of 2020, I got an inclination to uh, build me a chicken coop and raise a few chickens for some fresh eggs. Little did I know what it would turn out to be today. I didn't get any videos of uh, the build, but I do have a few snapshots. So today I plan on showing y'all some of the photos I have of it and then uh, going outside and taking a tour of it. So I broke ground on April 18th, 2020. Got my first four four by four posts set and uh, starting to work on the actual chicken coop itself. Here I've got the rest of the posts put in and got a couple of my dogs checking out my handiwork. We're going to fast forward to May 3rd, 2020. As you can see, I got most of the roof done. Uh, it's about time to slap some sheet metal on it. Here you can see I got the sheet metal up. Uh, it was the cheapest I could find, but it was still expensive. May 13th, starting to work on the coop again. Got the floor of the coop covered in a piece of linoleum to keep anything wet from soaking into the wood floor. Today is May 17th, 2020. I've uh, got most of the walls up on the chicken coop and starting to stretch hardware cloth along the chicken run. So I've already got two doors installed on the chicken coop. The two top ones swing upward to allow access to the coop and the bottom one swings downward to clean the chicken litter out. So I ran some electricity to the coop in case I need to plug in a heated water this winter or even a heat lamp if it gets really cold. Today is December 14th, 2020. Got a little bit of snow. You see the arrow pointing to that chicken up on top of the roof? The weather forecast is calling for some really bitter temperatures. So I'm beginning to wrap the chicken run to keep them out of the wind and I'm actually installing two heat lamps. Today's February 16th, 2021. Negative 15 degrees. Got a heat lamp inside the run and another heat lamp inside the coop to keep the girls warm. I'm needing more storage out there at the chicken run so on March 6th I start adding a lean-to on the front edge of this chicken coop and chicken run. So I went to the store, picked up some more corrugated roofing, and got the lean-to roof covered up. I went ahead and put a privacy fence up halfway down the length of the run to hide the stuff that I had in storage behind it. Today's April 1st, 2021. Uh, this is where the chicken math goes to work. I've acquired about 28 more chicks and there's not going to be nearly enough room in the coop for these guys so I decided to build another miniature run and coop. Most of these new chicks are bantams. On April 26th I go ahead and clean out the uh, all the pine shavings and straw out of the chicken coop. It's been sitting in here since August of last year. It's not in bad shape. I probably could have added to it if I needed to, but I decided to take this time, go ahead and clean it out and start over with new chicks. So here's a couple pics of the Bantam's Coop and Run. Can't tell from this picture, but there's a lot of storage up on top of it. And here's another view from the other direction. Okay, so with all that being said, let's uh, step outside and take a look at the chicken coop. If you're from the south, you know what this is. This bag full of water and four pennies. That prism that's created when the light hits it scares away the flies. Uh, so I got it right here by the front door to help keep flies out of the house. So as we approach the chicken pen from this direction, I'd like to point out that the original structure was this area right here is approximately 8 foot wide and 20 foot long. 
later on I added on this lean-to and then after that there's a miniature coop and chicken run right here we'll take a look at all that uh, first thing you notice is the maggot bucket hanging there we've talked about that before here is one of my two ladies first chicken doors they're solar powered they sense uh, the amount of light so they'll open and close at the same time each day this area here was was used as a porch in the beginning I had my buckets of feed lined up right here it, uh, it's covered so it kept them out of the weather I put a little shelf up here for some storage it's got grit and oyster shell up there let's, let's walk into the run and see what we have we'll start over at the coop end and work our way back to the door up here is a window for ventilation I have a cover I can put on it if it becomes too cold this is the door to the chicken coop right now it's occupied with uh, mama hen and her babies hey what's happening got the ramp to get down over here is a bucket they use to take a dirt bath with on days that uh, it's rainy and the ground under the shade trees are all wet they'll come in here and use this and of course I have their standard water fountain and I have a hanging feeder there is a couple roosts over here you see he's using it right now generally they hang out here everybody knew that was coming didn't you generally they hang out here right before they uh, go into the coop to rest for the night or sometimes on a rainy day they'll hang out in here I'm gonna get out of here close the door and go around the corner so we can look at the Bantam's coop so as I said earlier I did purchase several Bantam's Easter Eggers and I built them their own miniature coop and run got their feeder ramp to get into the uh, coop I did move their their this roost bar running this direction it was over here originally now it's lower than the original one so I'm hoping they don't hang out here all night and they'll move into the coop into the taller run Their water was inside the run, but there's so many chickens right now, I moved it out here because they're just getting crowded every time they all want to go in and get a drink. So this is my second Ladies First Chicken Door. Matt from uh, Ladies First Chicken Door, if you're watching, I have one recommendation. You should quit using that nail you placed right here. It's really hard to pull that nail out when you need to get behind the cover or rivet makes it a whole lot easier this one uh, coop and run is only about six foot by 12 foot I didn't think I need as much space for the small chickens one thing I like about this is on top of it I left room for some storage I got some boards and some covers for the doors and windows uh, you find all kinds of stuff up there it's just convenient keeping it all here in this location the food and scratch stored in the five gallon buckets anybody who's ever left some straw laying around knows what a chicken will do to it they'll spread it all out in a hurry got another window up here you can open and close it via the chain uh, the nest box for the main coop and the nest box for the Bantam's coop. See, I got a couple windows here. I have some plastic covers I can put on or take off. And the clean out door. Yeah. I need to get some gutters on the back side the rainwater is uh, uncovering the hardware cloth I got buried under the dirt 
hopefully that'll prevent any critters from trying to dig in yeah that's that's about it <clears throat> I do have some fine looking gutters up here somebody did a good job on that but anyway there's my chicken stick we use that for unruly roosters once in a while <laughs> just kidding uh, yeah that's about it I hope you all uh, enjoyed the, the little slideshow at the beginning and the walk around the coop today if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please do that leave me a comment below what you think about this and uh, anyway I'm gonna wrap this video up and we will see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. On occasion, you might hear me refer to the chicken pen as the chicken palace. It's not because it's luxurious. It's uh, mainly because of the amount of money I invested in that, buying all these materials during the height of the COVID in 2020 and early 2021. So that's what that's all about.